Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Peter Costello has stepped down as chairman of Nine Entertainment Company Days after he allegedly bumped into a journalist at an airport who then fell on the ground. Nine Chief Executive Officer Mike Sneezeby said in a statement released on Sunday afternoon, I want to thank Peter for his contribution to Nine over more than a decade. As the announcement makes clear, he has played an important role in the big nine milestones over that time, a period marked by dramatic digital transformation for the media industry and our company. Mr. Costello, who was the federal treasurer in the Howard government and once tipped as the next prime minister, was questioned by the Australian journalist Liam Mendez after arriving at Canberra Airport on Thursday afternoon. Mr. Mendez approached him and fired off a series of questions, but appeared to bump into Mr. Costello mid-sentence though the former Nine boss later said he had backed into a bollard. Mr. Costello will be replaced by Nine's deputy chairman Catherine West, a former Sky executive in the UK. In the airport altercation Mr. Costello, 66, ignored a series of questions from Mr. Mendez about a $1 million payout made to the channel's former news boss Darren Wick, who faces allegations of sexual harassment. Mr. Mendez introduced himself to Mr. Costello and questioned why the Nine boss hadn't shown his support for the network's chief executive officer, Mike Sneezeby. Mr. Sneezeby has come under fire following reports he approved the large payout to Mr. Wick. Just a minute after Mr. Mendez began firing off questions, he lost his balance and fell over. GoPro footage appeared to show Mr. Costello walk into Mr. Mendez, knocking him to the ground. A flustered Mr. Mendez picked himself up and followed Mr. Costello into the airport car park. Mr. Costello, you can't do that, you can't do that, it's all captured on camera, Mr. Mendez said. Is that behavior really appropriate to a journalist who's working? Mr. Mendez asked. On Thursday evening outside Parliament House, Mr. Costello denied he had knocked over the journalist. There is no assault, Mr. Costello said. I did not lay a finger or a fist or anything else on him. Mr. Costello said Mr. Mendez was walking backwards while filming and tripped over an advertising placard. I have seen it happen a million times, reporters back into the bollards and fall over, he said. I did not strike him. Mr. Costello also denied that viewers of the footage would describe him as being aggressive. Before Mr. Costello appeared to push Mr. Mendez over, he had asked the nine chairman, Do you support Mr. Sneezeby as CEO and his handling of the Darren Wick saga? Mr. Wick, the former head of Nine News, was the subject of serious misconduct accusations shortly prior to his resignation from the company in March. It's understood both Mr. Costello and Mr. Sneezeby were aware of the allegations at the time of Mr. Wick's resignation. Mr. Sneezeby has since faced criticism for approving Mr. Wick's $1 million financial settlement, which included a payout and leave entitlements. It's understood Mr. Costello was unaware of the payout until after Mr. Sneezeby approved it and has not since publicly supported the CEO. Mr. Costello signed a letter to all nine staff last Thursday, obtained by the ABC, which acknowledged the serious claims against Mr. Wick. We recognize we need to do more, the letter read. All nine staff will be required to complete refreshed sexual harassment prevention training by June 30. It's understood Mr. Costello was in Canberra on Thursday for the opening of Nine's new office in Parliament House. After nearly 11 years on the board of Nine Entertainment Company, NEC, and more than eight years as chair, I had flagged retiring from the board some time after the July Olympics and by the AGM in November at latest. Last year, the company retained a search firm to identify new directors. The work is well advanced. I have today informed the board of NEC that I will pull forward that timing stand down as chair and resign as a director. The deputy chair Catherine West has been working with the search firm and is well placed to chair the company and conclude the process of refreshing the board. The board has been supportive through the events of the last month and last few days in particular. But going forward I think they need a new chair to unite them around a fresh vision A. Eh?